Hi, it's Angel Shaber, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, and this is the third Thursday in September. So, we are going to make a Christmas card with our featured stamp set this month, which happens to be Hello Harvest. Before we get started with that, I want to remind you that today, Thursday, September 15th, is the 24-hour stamp sale. Started at Midnight Mountain, and it runs through 11.50 Mountain Time tonight. So, head on over to the Stampin' Up! store and check on savings, specials, whatever that's called. I don't remember. Go down to stamp sale and see which stamps are 15% off today. One five. So I'm going to point you down and we'll get started. I am making sure that the video is running and you can see what I'm showing you. Okay. We are using Hello Harvest. And this paper, the white paper is out because that's what we're stamping on. But we will be making a card out of the basic black and using this DSP for the front again. I just think it's so much fun. So let me go ahead and get our card folded in half. It was cut hot dog style, which is four and a quarter by eleven. Folded in half, that makes it four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have not yet cut this paper, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is a six by six piece of paper, and so we are going to cut it four by five and a quarter. And while I have the trimmer out, we will cut the piece for the inside of the card as well. Four by five and a quarter. Might as well go ahead and get this glued on the front. To pull my dried glue off the tip so that new glue can come on out. I wanted to put the sparkles going towards the bottom of the card this time. And then I'm going to set this aside. Oops, I did have it correct. And now I have it different. But that's okay. This is just 
a different direction than I had planned. It'll still work out fine. And I'm going to move the card interior to the side. And then we'll get some things stamped and ready to cut out with the mini stamp and cut and emboss. I have the pumpkin which I'll be stamping with a basic black. We're pretending this is a white pumpkin today. And then plan to do some of the little swirls. We're just going to see what happens. I'm going to stamp some in cherry cobbler and some in shaded spruce. Um, I believe there are some dyes for these, but maybe not. not pulled these out of the stamp box very often so they're stuck down really really well Set those aside for now and close up my stamp pads. Cherry cobbler and shaded spruce. And then I'm going to trim this so that it will fit in our mini stampin' cut and emboss machine. Going to make it about three inches. Alright. Getting the mini cut and box machine out and ready and we'll see which dies we have. I know for a fact we have the frame to cut out the pumpkin. We do not have frames for any of the squiggles, but we do have some squiggles themselves. Let's see. Stick this up. Then I'm going to just cut out some white squiggles. And 
here we go. Oops. I just noticed my pumpkin frame was completely off the pumpkin, which is not fun. what we have here. We have a pumpkin that I'm going to do a little trimming on and we have some white squiggles I think I'm going to send that through to do the squiggles one more time. So I end up with more squiggles. This is the time that um, adhesive back would be good because these are pretty intricate dies but I didn't put it on mine so we will just see what happens how hard they are to glue One, two, three, four, five. I should have us there as the sixth one. It doesn't mean I'm going to use it all, but there they are. Okay. I'm going to trim up my... And I left my good scissors upstairs, the one I use for paper. We're going to do some fun decorating with our pumpkin to make it more ready for Christmas. We are pretending that it's white, whether it was a white pumpkin to start with or um, we painted it, who knows. 
but I'm going to add some wink of Stella to the stem. Give it just a little bling. And then... I'm adding pearls to our pump. Grab my take your pick tool and just start adding a bunch of pearls, different sizes. Mine really only has two different sizes and so we're just gonna add a bunch little baby ones What I do not want is for it to look like a face and not even really like a necklace. Although that's kind of what we're doing. We're adorning our pumpkin with jewels. But I'm using a lot of pearls on this. You can use as many or as few as you like. And I'm just choosing to use round pearls today, but they do have heart-shaped pearls. They have different colored pearls. You can color these with um, Stampin' Balloons if you like a different color. Really, it's all about however you feel, like adding pearls. However many you want on your pumpkin. Then I'm done with the pearls for now. Okay. Gonna grab my card front and 
figure out what I plan to do with my squiggles. That's my technical term for them. And where I want my pumpkin and where I want a sentiment here a bit. I think I'm just going to put my pumpkin right there with some dimensionals. don't even know how many of these or if I plan to use them. But I think it's working out that I'm going to put them toward the bottom. Now, if you're watching this, um, Today, September 15th, it is a 24-hour stamp sale, and you definitely want to go check it out and see if you can get any of the stamps on your wish list for a discount. While you're checking things out, they have released the week three of the weekly deals has been released so there are those you might as well save on shipping and get your weekly deals and your stamp deals in the same order plus um september is perfect partners and so, um, you might want to check out and see if there are any of those bundles or dies that you are wanting. And if you want to save even a little bit more money, any of those things can be added to your starter kit. So you could join my team and get $125 worth of product for only $99 plus gift free shipping on that order. Well, that's what I get for trying to pull things that are paper. They don't pull well. They pull apart. In case you didn't already know that.
So I have to figure out what I'm going to do about my sentiment. And I think it will end up up here. But I'm going to save the rest of my squiggles in case I decide... to put some on the sentiment label. And I have a couple of Christmas sentiment stamp sets with me. One is Brightest Glow and one is Hope and Peace. I think I'm just going to use Merry Christmas and the one on Brightest Glow is my favorite. This is so new, I haven't even added all of my labels on these. So, I'll let you watch while I do this Merry Christmas. Take the back off and then find the correct one and take the back off of it as well. And then you line it up. And voila, there it is. Okay. And I plan to stamp that in black on this white piece of paper. And then I will cut the sentiment label down. I think I'm going to cut around the words. Then I will put the Merry Christmas up here and add a swirl behind it or with it, probably behind it. right there under it.
is the front of our card. Merry Christmas. Now, I'm going to work on the inside. We haven't used any colors other than black and white and a little silver sparkle yet. That doesn't mean we won't, but that means I don't feel it in my bones. Yet. And so, I'm going to grab my sentiment for the inside of the card. And I'm going to grab the one that says, Wishing you the hope and peace of Christ this season. And we're going to stamp that in black. And then I'm just going to grab one of my squiggles and Stamp one in cherry cobbler. And so there's like a surprise little pop of color. And there it is. that on the inside of the card. Here's our Christmas card using the Hello Harvest stamp set. Merry Christmas with our pumpkin all blinged out with the pearls. And then wishing you the hope and peace of Christ this season. Hope you enjoyed this and I will be back next Thursday at 2 o'clock Central to make a fourth card with the Hello Harvest stamp set.